He hit the bathers at the end of the shading. The bathers stopped him. That's what they were there for. But they were back to damage. Donald was lucky. He wasn't hurt at all. Just in burgers. The algorithms teased him. He also gave him for skating church and church, they said. Even Donald laughed. Ruby was worried about what the third controller might say. But the third controller only wanted to be more careful. He knew it hadn't been Donald's fault. The third controller came to Sir James, telling him that where the power work of his on the name is ending. Tomorrow's chain, Douglas will be the last for the chain being. Next day, as Douglas drove his noble trucks to a halt in this city, James was waiting. I know, Aunt James, Dr. Sixth, what are you going to do now this job is finished? Pull some persons a chain, I hope the paid James. I'm getting tired of doing the same thing all the time. Never mind, said Douglas. but there's the last one. He was already uncoupled. On the trucks, and he went, puffing slowly, in the top of Salt City. Thought Douglas, 
much better than it did before. Effect control is probably good at Douglas Donald smashed it up. <laughs> he morphed into the city. He stood the top on the bricks. Nothing happened. He tried again. Still nothing. Thomas! You can't stop! exclaimed Douglas. The workman watched in dismay. Douglas rode stiffly along the lane and smashed toss splinters. The officer had just spent the day's mending. Ouch! exclaimed Douglas, opening his eyes cautiously. The hurt. The drop buffer stopped him, but unfortunately, Douglas had been nodding faster than Donald. He was in a terrible mess. His front was badly bent, and he was smeared with the bright red paint. Which hadn't had turned to day. You sick great engine! scolded the performer, waving his paint brush in with her. It stood of some red paint in it, and some of the paint flowed out and stuck on Douglas's nose. For that day's work, the foreman said crossly, and in thirty seconds you are come and smash, smash it all to bits. Douglas's front wheels were off the rails, so James had to come and rescue him. The third controller did tell Douglas about engines not taking care of in savings. And as for the paint on his nose, well, it was left there as a remainder. And that's the end of the speech of it. Okay.